Dear students, good morning. Today I am going to talk about Othello by William Shakespeare. Othello is a tragedy which is written by William Shakespeare and its full title is The Tragedy of Othello, the Moor of Venice. Before talking about the plot of Othello, I mean plot of the drama, let me talk about the author. Author of this drama Othello is written by William Shakespeare. He was born in Stratford Avon, Stratford upon Avon, Warwickshire, England on April 26, 1564, and he died on 23rd April 1616 at the age of 52. He was regarded as greatest writer in the English language and the world's greatest dramatist. Still, in this 21st century, he is regarded as the greatest dramatist. Do you know, dear students, Shakespeare had never been to university, but he had got lots of knowledge. That knowledge we can see in his drama. He is uh, called as English, uh, England's national poet as well. He not only write dramas, but also write uh, wrote many poems as well, especially sonnets. Uh, you know, he has written comedies, historical dramas, tragedies, and poetry. In poetry, his sonnets are very popular. Altogether, he wrote 37 plays and 154 sonnets. He is the author of famous tragedies. I think you know the word tragedy. Tragedy means a um, sad ending. Or it may be a movie, in a movie, or in a drama, or in a fiction. If there is sad ending, uh, if the protagonist dies at the end of the drama, or heroine dies at the end of drama, if we feel pain at the end of drama, that is called tragedy. And uh, um, these uh, given dramas are his famous tragedies. They are Romeo and Juliet, Hamlet, Antony and Cleopatra, and Julius Caesar. Apart from these uh, tragedies, there are other tragedies as well. Now, uh, let me talk about the setting of the play. Setting means uh, the time and the place uh, where the play uh, takes place. Place is, uh, begins it in Venice. The play begins from Venice. And later, uh, uh, later it moves uh, the setting of Cyprus. Then time is late 16th century during the wars between Venice and Turkey. Dear students, now I would like to introduce um, the characters in the play Othello. Othello, the title character, is uh, the play's protagonist and hero. He is a Christian Moor. He is black and a general of the armies of Venice. Means he is the he has the main post, major post in armies. He is the general or he is the head of the armies of Venice. Desdemona um, and another important female character or we can say heroine of the play. Desdemona, she is Othello's wife. She is a beautiful white lady. Iago, another important character. Uh, Iago is Othello's ensign or his uh, soldier. And the antagonist and villain of the play means here the role of Iago is negative. He plays the role of villain in the play. And the character is Michael Cassio, a young and inexperienced soldier whose high position is most disliked by Iago. Here uh, this Cassio is also one of the important characters. He is a soldier of Othello. Um, and Othello promoted uh, his post as his lieutenant, which is disliked by Iago. But Cassio is very sincere and devoted to Othello. Similarly, uh, there is another character that is Rodrigo. Rodrigo is a jealous lover of Destimana, so it means lover. He is young, rich, but he is very foolish. Without any reason, he believes Iago, and because of that reason, he faced 
he faces tragic end at the end of the drama. Emilia, Iago's wife and Desdemona's mate, she is deeply attached to her mistress and distrustful to her husband. Emilia, uh, she is uh, very faithful to her mistress, Desdemona, very true to Desdemona. And at last we can see that she uh, seems or uh, she behaved um, quite negatively to her husband because she revealed uh, her, her husband's fact in front of all. Bianca, a minor character, she is a prostitute and Cassio's beloved. Uh, similarly, Bravenzio, uh, he is Desdemona's father and uh, having good position in politics. Other minor characters are Duke of Venice, Montano and Lodovico. Now, uh, let me talk about the plot of the play Othello. Plot means summary, summary of the play Othello. Uh, it is a short story about a commander Othello, a black man and high-ranking military officer. Military officer. Uh, here the main character is Othello, who is a commander of his army and he is black and he is very powerful, very strong, who at the beginning of the play recently married a beautiful white lady, Desdemona. And the play begins with his married with Desdemona. He recently married with Desdemona and uh, he is very happy with her. Iago, one of his soldiers, is upset. Upset means unhappy because Othello has promoted Cassio as his chief lieutenant, who is a younger and inexperienced soldier. Here, what happened? Uh, Iago, who is uh, one of the senior soldiers of Othello, is upset, is unhappy. When we go through the lines of drama, we can find this. He expresses some negative words for Othello. That shows that Othello is very furious. Sorry, Iago is very furious to Othello. Iago is very angry with Othello because Othello has promoted Cassio as his chief lieutenant who is younger and inexperienced soldier. Actually, Iago is expecting for that post. But instead of, you know, instead of um, caring about Iago's expectation, Othello promoted a new soldier as his lieutenant, as his chief lieutenant. Because of that reason, Iago is very upset with Othello as well as with Cassio. Therefore, Iago wants to take revenge with both Othello and Cassio. Now, Iago starts plots, starts making plots against Othello uh, by creating a false story, means wrong story, that Othello's wife Desdemona and Cassio have love of her and he becomes able to manipulate, means change Othello's mind or he became able to convince Othello uh, to believe his false story and he became also able to plant a seed of jealousy in Othello's mind. In this way, he became able to uh, able to give birth of jealousy in Othello's heart. Emilia, uh, who is Iago's wife, is still Desdemona's handkerchief, which is given to her by Othello and gives it to Iago without knowing the plot behind it. Now Iago uh, is, um, is in the path of destroying Othello's life. That's why he asks his wife, Desdemona, sorry, his wife Emilia to steal Desdemona's handkerchief. And Emilia, without asking the purpose for that tax, she steals Desdemona's handkerchief and uh, gives it to Iago. Now uh, Iago shows it to Othello and able to convince him or persuade him that Desdemona has given the handkerchief to Cassio as a token of love. When Othello uh, sees that handkerchief, he identifies that handkerchief very easily and this proof confirms Othello's doubt into reality. And then after that incident, Othello um, goes to his house and asks with Desdemona uh, for that handkerchief. Desdemona 
searches that handkerchief everywhere but she cannot find that handkerchief which was the first gift that uh, othello had given to her this makes uh, othello's suspicion more stronger he becomes very angry to her he orders iago to kill cassio and murder his innocent wife smothering with her pillow without giving her chance to prove her innocence um, he kill his wife he kills his wife desdemona uh, once sometimes she begs for time so that she could prove her innocence but without listening his wife othello kills her when emilia comes to the stage stays and knows the plot of her husband she reveals the truth that desdemona is blameless desdemona is innocent she explains how unknowingly desdemona's handkerchief came to cassio's position she explains every story how iago asks her to bring that handkerchief and she has given it to her husband without knowing the cause means everything she reveal reveal in front of othello and others then iago stabs her means iago kills her when all the truth is disclosed about the innocence and loyalty or sincerity of desdemona and the bitter truth of iago's plot othello cannot bear the pain now he regrets a lot he could not tolerate the things he could not tolerate his deed his misdeeds and he stabs himself means he kills himself and falls on the same bed where desdemona lies after the death of othello and desdemona cassio is elected as the head of military office and duke and the duke orders cassio to punish iago and the play ends now dear students at last i am going to talk about themes of the play othello there are some major themes that we can press out from this drama such like theme of love and hatred we can see this theme in this drama uh, there is a theme of love that there is love of your between love between desdemona and othello uh, similarly uh, there is love, um, affection of desdemona towards cassio and desdemona's uh, affection towards emilia and emilia's love for her mistress and similarly iago's love for money and post and we can see theme of hatred as well just like uh, iago iago's hatred towards cassio and othello and othello's hatred hatred towards desdemona's at towards the end of the play another major theme is the theme of jealousy and revenge iago is jealous of cassio's position as othello's lieutenant because he thinks that he has the right to be that post so he wants to take revenge with both othello and cassio similarly there is a the theme of loyalty and betrayal cassio desdemona emilia are loyal to othello and on the other side iago betrays means he deceives othello there is another important theme that is theme of reality and appearance uh, iago uh, who is the villain of the play appears to be loyal and sincere to othello throughout the play but in reality he finds othello and cassio as his enemies and plots to take revenge with them similarly another important theme of this play is racism racism othello is black by origin he thinks uh, desdemona might deceive him because of his color this is one of the factors that leads his downfall in the play okay this must for today we'll talk about other play in our next class